episode is simply there. Today on the show, we're going to make Mamma's press cookie. She always made these around the holidays. I think this recipe is passed down in her family. So, it's always been a tradition. So, I haven't made these in a few years. So, <clears throat> you you could do a stand mixer or you don't have to do a stand mixer. You could use an electric mixer or do it by hand. We're no, don't worry about the mounts in the bottom of the description or the video will be the recipe. Butter softened at room temperature, one egg, and some sugar, and we're going to cream it together. Some people call these spritz cookies, but I grew up calling them um, press cookies. So whatever you want to call them. Some salt goes in. Some almond extract goes in. <clears throat> and then we got to put some flour. Goes in, and I'm using all purpose. And it depends on if it the weather affects your cookies. You might need a little bit more flour or less. Today it's real rainy and cold, so we're using a little bit more flour. We're going to put some bacon powder in, <clears throat> and then we're going to mix this all together. Do it real slow so you won't get your powder of your flour everywhere. It'll puff out. Real slow in the beginning. And you want your butter softened, but not completely, like melted butter. Because that will really affect your cookies. different. You'll have to add more flour and everything. <clears throat> and it'll come together, I promise. Okay, now we're just going to mix everything together. For a good two minutes and then look there's your dough you want it to be like play-doh soft like play-doh but not too hard um, now mamma would make a white batch of the press cookies and then she would make another batch and take the dough and put green food coloring in and may do press out cookie uh, Christmas tree ones and then she would do another batch and tin it with red food coloring and we'd do like red ponzetta flowers like looking. So she always did all three colors. Um, you got to do them separately though. Each batch separately. Just take all your dough off your paddle. Okay, now you need to take that off. Okay, now here is your dough. It's just like Play-Doh, and it's really, you don't stick to your hands or anything. It's just a wonderful dough. And that's why I'm saying it's like Play-Doh, so you can kind of know what to look for. Now we're going to go over to the table, and we're going to fill our little press machine, or spritz machine, whatever you want to call it. Alright, I'll show you the old school one we want. Mama had the same one. It's probably from the 70s. It's wherever Super Shooter. 
and then you put all your stuff in and then we're going to do flowers for the white and then they've got different ones here's the Christmas tree we do for the green there's different ones there's this kind of flower um, we've got little men we've got this funky shape that shape a heart these are all good to tint and make pink for Valentine's Day and then all of them comes with usually you get your basics um, they might have a slightly different some different designs and then you got a little doggy that's what comes in our little set but you could use electric one like I have it's hard to find them um, after me and Jamie got married at a rummage sale that the school was having I found it and never been used the same package as Memo had hers in it came in the box and everything still sealed up in the package and I got it so I could do her tradition of press cookies in my house um, there's ones that have a hand crank and there's ones that has like a twist knob there's all different kinds of spritz cookie press or or press cookie presses out there you just have to find one that you like so what we do, we just take our dough and I just start dropping it in around the base. And then you've got this plunger that you can plunge it down and keep adding. So, we just fill, fill, fill. Now, I've already did the red and green ahead of time and they're baked and done. So, now we're doing the white. And then you're going to need sprinkles, different kinds of Christmas sprinkles, or any kind of colors you want to use for your cookies. Okay. The dough is very forgiving. So, you just line your little notch up, and you can press down your dough and get all the air out. And then, now you can put more in. So we're just going to fill our little press up with this dough to the top. Now I've already got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. That's what my mom baked hers at. Some people bake them at 350. You just got to bake them a little bit longer if you do them at 350. And this is messy, but it's so worth it. It's such a good holiday treat that our family just adores. And we no longer have Mamma, so she's been gone a few years now. So I haven't made these in a few years. So because I loved her so much, she raised me and stuff. It was just sad during the holidays to make them type of cookies. But now, you know, I'm wanting to do them. And actually show everybody else holiday traditions that you can add to your, your own family. Okay. Now, we just take our little flower and we put it in this ring. Or whatever shape you're going to do. We'll just screw on the cap. Okay, let me get me a cookie sheet. Now, I use Silpat for mine. You can do it on parchment paper if you want to. Silpats, I love these for cookie bacon or any candy bacon. It can handle hot candy like um, doing toffee and you know, all kinds of stuff. Hard candy. Um, but it, they're like non-stick and it makes sure that the cookie bakes evenly and stuff so but you can do parchment paper there's enough butter in these little cookies you shouldn't have to spray the parchment paper so we're just going to start these out and i'll take off that little piece and then when it starts coming out you just come down and then you might have to do a count one two three four five one, two, three, four, five, six. And I just learned my count. And some are fatter than the others. And 
and your cookie your cookie dough will come out automatically. Make it this whole cookie sheet filled, and then I'll show you how what kind of sprinkles we're gonna put on. You just gotta get a hang of your machine. Whatever press cookie press you're gonna use, or cookie press or press. You could totally do stars if you had like a star and ten and blue, or a snowflake if you could find a snowflake. That'd be really pretty. For the holiday. One time we one time we put cocoa powder and made little since that little doggy we made a uh, little doggy and turned him in the reindeer for Christmas and put a little red Jimmy for the nose, the little smaller ones. So you just you just you just do it whatever. Okay, now we're gonna come and sprinkle. And I'm just gonna do some green on some you do any kind of and then we'll do some on red or you could do red to green together there's all kinds of jimmies and sprinkles out there you just whatever you have in your cabinet or what you can get a hold of and the dollar tree has some good sprinkles and stuff i always go after the holidays like at walmart and other stores after clearance and get some lot of christmasy ones um and we'll just go ahead and Sprinkle a little bit of red on top of these two. So it'll be red and green. these you're going in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes you just want them slightly golden brown on the bottom and then you know they're done and then you cool them and we will come back when they're all done for video two so sit what sure you watch video two i'll be back after everything's done and cooled 